The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unew Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in to Armed Radio tonight. I am Shannon. And I am Bill. (laughs) And we are your hosts for Talk Live Paranormal. And also tonight, once again, we have got Don in here with us. Hello, everybody. Hey, Bill. Hey, Shannon. How you doing? I'm just uh, really bored tonight, so I figured (laughs) Shannon asked me to come in. I'm half asleep, so I'm here, and I'm ready to hear some Paranormal. I don't know well, how to we're take all that. Asleep, I think. I don't know how to take that. Uh, I'm really bored, so I figured I'd just come in. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Thanks, <laughs> Don. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I mean, I just I've been sleeping a lot, Bill. Here lately, I've, I've been really depressed. I don't know why. And um, uh, it's your guys' shows. I, I do two shows a week, so I mean, I just feel like sometimes I don't want to hijack your show. You know what I mean? You're not hijacking you know, our show. You'll never hijack our show. Well, because Shannon, she, Shannon will kick you out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will we'll boot throw, you, and she will throw the K at you. So I yeah, will the, throw the K at him. The capital K. <laughs> and everybody out there wants to know um, with Shannon. Um, really, when you get mad at her on Facebook. <laughs> she will give you a capital K, and that means she's aggravated. So um, don't get the capital K. I hope none of my friends are listening. Well, why is why is this starting to sound like a oh I got the capital K and I went to the doctor today and he gave me a shot and I'm I'm hoping it clears up but it's really starting to itch. Uh, the cap- oh my god! That that does sound like some kind of STD, doesn't it? Uh, capital, <laughs> I got the, the capital K. The- how did we even get on this topic? It's a it's a paranormal STD, is what it is. I there guess. you go. I, oh, I'm straight. Like not. I'm leaving my phone off because Billy Bob's gonna call in if we start talking about that <laughs> shit. Yes, he will. But anyway, Shannon uh, and Bill, um, since I'm on here, I did look um, this up before I came on here tonight. I've got the top ten list from the travel channels. Um, places that the, 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 they're they're the best places on the travel channel. To, to ghost hunt and I would like to read off this list and you guys can talk about each place if you know the place I'll try to read about it but um you guys know uh, more about it than I do awesome I think we should do that but before we go into all that I really want to get once again this week want to throw a big shout out to every service man and service woman that's out there serving right now if you're listening thank you guys thank you very much for all you do each and every day please come home safe yes thank you guys and gals god bless God bless each and every one of you, and thank you to all of our, our country's veterans, too. Thank you. So, now the formalities <laughs> are out of the way, we talked about Special K. Well, Bill, that's, 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 that's a good thing. What you what said the right fuck? there, I mean, we can't forget about our milita- our men and women in the military. That's a great thing to say. It is. No, they, it's going to be an every week thing. Oh, hey, yeah. we. Have, I mean, it's. I mean, that's straight from the heart. That's, I mean, I rekindled and started actually talking with a person – a guy I haven't seen in years. Um, fo- he found us on Facebook, and we talked to him today, which was oh, awesome. That's cool. So, yeah, well, kinda... you're a veteran too, right, Bill? Yes, sir. And um, I, I know I talk to my friend Dave all the time, but um, he says that you know he don't really look at that like um, as to being the the patriot part. I mean, he said that people like me and Shannon could be. Just as patriotic as somebody that served, but I still, oh, yeah. I, I still just, I love our veterans. I love the men and women who serve our military, and I think they deserve the best, Bill. Oh yeah, definitely, they deserve every bit that we can give to them. Um, yeah, and and they're not, they don't get it. But that's a completely different radio show, and I can You're go right. twenty to two to three to four hours or days on that topic. So oh yes, oh yes. Hey, we can talk about whatever we want to talk about. All right. I know, but I gotta go to sleep sometime. And if you get me started on that one, you guys are gonna like start. Well, I start passing around the plate because you're gonna think you're at church when I'm done. I promise you that. <laughs> uh, it's all good. Well, 
Bill, since uh, you want to get off that topic, do you, do you want me to go through my top ten list and maybe you and Shannon can uh, talk about these places? Let's start with number ten. What do you got? Do it to well, it. I don't know if it's number ten, but it, it starts at the top. So um, I'll, I'll go from the top and read down, okay? All right. What's the first you? place that the Travel Channel recommends, it's uh, it maybe number, number ten, it's called um, Moundsville Penitentiary. And... It's in West Virginia. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. I was just there a month ago. Oh wow! I forgot all about that. He was so. Yeah, um, that's when I, you know, got the new phone and didn't know how to turn my data mobile data. I can't even talk. Data mobile crap on, and I had no service the whole weekend. Remember that time? Right. Oh. It says it was in service for over a hundred years. This prison was open, you guys, for a hundred years. It's so wow. shit. it's a good size. I don't think it's as big as Missouri State Pen, but it's a really good size. And I mean, and they have a chapel, like out in the yard, like where all the people used to inside the walls, but in the middle of the yard is the chapel. Well, it looks scary, you guys. I mean, I but looks can be deceiving, you know that. Um, Everything you're gonna look at Post Town like it's all scary now. <laughs> oh well, I don't even. Oh God, I don't even think about that. My experience there, but I mean, we we might talk about it later if you want to. It's your guys' show. Do you want me to tell you number nine? Go for it. Do it. Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. Um, have you guys ever heard of that place? Oh, I've heard of it. Oh, I've heard of it. <laughs> it was once. They said it was once known as the Western State Hospital. Uh, it's. It's really big if you look at it at an aerial view. I don't know the exact square footage, but if you guys, everybody listen, if you get a chance to watch Paranormal Lockdown's episode of Trans Allegheny, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> so it is a good place to haunt, to hunt for ghosts then, right? Yes. Okay, what about you, Bill? Have you ever, you ever seen it? You ever been there? I've never been there. I have heard about it. I've heard some people talking about it and heard a lot of people that say that they, oh, we're going, we're, and, you know, we're hoping to get something and then they will, they don't ever want to go back. Um, it, there's some, some of the people that will talk about going, oh, you know, we were, we were just, we were in the, uh, what is it, the, what used to be the surgical room or whatever. And you can ju- it just, the feeling of pure creepy throughout the whole thing. You can just feel the death in the air. Wow, I mean, it says hundreds of people died there. I mean, it dates back to the Civil War era. Um, wow, pretty pretty neat looking place. Big, big, big place too, Bill. Yeah, cool. it is. It's like a really long. It's got really long hallways. All right, now this next one, Shannon. It's kind of funky. I hope I can pronounce it right. It's called the Velisca Axe Ax Murder House. Um, you got it, you got it right, Velisca yeah. Axe Murder House here in Iowa. And nope. the heinous that murder one? of jo- Josiah B. Moore. Um, I guess there was a murder in this house. I don't know. I don't have a picture of this now. Well, there, yeah, there was uh, several murders in that house. Um, if I'm, if I, I got to try to remember that because it's been a while since we've been there. Is that the if guy I, that killed his whole family? He, well, it, what he didn't kill his family. He killed a family and some vi- and a couple. There was a man, a woman, and like th- I want to say three girls, and only two of the killed children belonged to the family, and one of them was visiting, like staying overnight or something like that. Wow. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Two, uh, Kelly's telling me two were staying overnight. Was that close? Okay. Two were staying overnight. The man and the woman were sleeping in bed. And the, there was, and then their one daughter was killed, right? Yeah. Okay. So, it was, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it says, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right, um, Bill. It says um, a guy named Josiah, jo- Josiah Moore, his wife, four children, and two young girls were overnight guests. Um, they rock. I guess they all got murdered. Uh, I don't know if they caught the guy or not. I don't know. I that one I don't know. All I know is is. is I it's, have, it's, uh, it's an old white farmhouse. Is all it says. There's no picture, Bill. Yep, it's in the middle of town, little white farmhouse. And you've been so, there, Bill. Yep. Yep. Wow. Uh, did you get anything there while you was there? Um, it was there was too many people. We went during the day. There was just way too many people there uh, when we went. I have I have mixed emotions about that place. I I I, I think it would be great if it was done correctly. And could actually set up and do an actual, um, an actual hunt there. Uh, the problem is, is the 
how do I do this? Well, how we haven't been politically correct since the day we started this show. So the lady who runs the place is more seems to be more about the almighty dollar. She wants to get paid um, gotcha. and, and allows anybody and everything to come in there. Um, anybody and everything by the, in, any of the meanings of you may have teenage kids that decide they want to go summon Satan and see what they can come up with. And then, so, so do you feel like a lot of these places are becoming more about money than it is ghost bill and Shannon? I, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've never been on a lot of ghost hunts like you and Shannon have. I mean, I know you have to pay, but um, okay. So, but it, so if you actually think about it, a lot of times, like I mean, I'm going to use Missouri State Pen because, well, just because I know, and some people look at the prices and go, "That's expensive as hell to go there and spend eight hours in there." Yes, it is, but the only income that Missouri State Pen really has is any of their tours. They do these tours, they take people out, and they take people through there. And then we do the big ones, and all the money that that like. Ghost Hunt USA pays to them is what keeps it up and keeps the doors open. Um, I'm not saying I'm not saying that Ghost Hunt USA is the only company that does it, so I don't want anybody giving us hate mail on that one. Um, or I, it's, it's about? just um, like like places like Missouri State Pan. People are a lot of times complaining, "Hey, this is rather expensive. I don't want to go there." I like 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 the Sally House. I'm going there in two days. I right. know it's really expensive to go there. I know it costs a bu- bunch of money, but the money that's it costs because it costs because you know it's it, we we have to rent the place. We have to uh, you know uh, a gr- the group that's putting it on has to be able to go in and rent the whole entire building and tell them you know how many people they're bringing in and everything, and that's the only money coming in to keep this place up because the state doesn't most of the states don't have money to keep it up. The local communities aren't going to raise money for a ghost house, so it is it does seem expensive. But if you look at the return investment where we're you know we're do, be able to do these ghost hunts and we're able to do these investigations and these param- paranormal lock ins. And we're we're able to keep this and help keep this going, so we can keep this going for, for lack of better terms, future generations. When the money stops, those places are going to get torn down. So basically, uh, preservation, Bill. Right? It's about that's, preservation for you, ghost hunters. No, no, it's about preservation. It's about every location everything. that we do. Tyler, he's helping to keep it preserved. Gotcha. To help it from being condemned and tore down, and 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 West Virginia State Pen and Moundsville is it's. It's coming up too. They're wanting to to get rid of it as well. Oh, and I know. Right. I know that like the, like the Velisca one. There's a lot of there's a lot of talk in in here in the state of Iowa that the people in the area actually they would like it torn down. They would like wow. to make, have it. They would like to have it go away because of the people that are running it don't do what they. They're not doing things right by allowing anyone and everyone to come in and do whatever the hell they want to. These they're inviting anything they want in there, and because the, because they want the dollar. That's right. what they want. Well, Bill, you said you're going to the Sally House soon. Am I am I mistaken by saying that that, that was on your bucket list here a while back? Um, no, well, it, was. <laughs> it was, it was on my list of, uh, I probably don't want to do it. Uh, uh, but now it's on my bucket of, oh my God, I'm going for two nights to start off with. So well, I hope you have a blast. getting paid to do it. Well, I, I don't care about that one. That piece, <laughs> Shannon, it's, it's the, <laughs> it's the whole fact that I'm, I mean, I'm going, I, I, the excitement is there. The anticipation is there and I hope to God that we get something. I really do. And I don't think I'm going to be disappointed. But I, I've done my history. Are you a little scared? At, Are you a little scared, Bill? A little bit? I'm not going to say scared. I'm going to say uh, nervous as hell. I, I don't know if it's the whole hype behind it and what's happened in the past with some people that we know that went there. Um, because I know a lot of people go in there and they try to open themselves up because they want to be open and they want to be, they want to see everything and they don't protect themselves. They don't do any grounding and they don't do any meditation prior to going in. And they, they, they just, they, they walk in and more or less say, here, I'm, a, I'm an open virgin. Take me. <laughs> you, you can't do wow. that. You, you, you've got to go in with protection and especially if it's a place you've never been before. Don't get me wrong. I love going in ever since I was a little kid. I see an old building, I'm in it. For some reason, there's something about old buildings I love. I'll go through an old building and find cracks and crevices in there that my big old butt can't fit in, but I'm going to try to get in there. <laughs> By yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. heck yeah. I have a way to those places, Bill. 
Um, do you want to move on to seven, Shannon, Bill? Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I missed one. I ha- uh, Allie had a little crying episode. I had to run. Yep. I sure. seen you. I seen you mute, mute out. I didn't know. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, I don't know. Um, this one is probably. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this one. Now it says Sammy Dean, but what it's saying here, it's in Jerome, Arizona. It's a former copper mining town that dates back to the Wild West. Um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this. I have. I have heard not. Of it. No. Uh, you might want to look it up. It's in here. Um, it just. The town is now home to just four. There's only 400 residents. This whole town, it's an old copper mining town, but it's on the travel channels list. And um, I guess that that'll bring up number um, what six, six. now? Yep. Uh, the Cuban Club. Um, that it, narrows it down. Either, well, <laughs> I, I guess. Uh, I don't even know where it's, where it's at here. It's not really even telling me, but it's about a bunch of Cuban immigrants or something. Um, it's just a big old building. Have you ever heard of it? Nope. <laughs> well, the Cuban <laughs> Club. That might be, that, that's in like Louisiana, right? No, I don't know. All it right. doesn't say where it's at. Uh, the Cuban Club, also known as, I can't pronounce this, it's in uh, Spanish. Um, I think it's in Tampa. It says something about Tampa. Here, I pulled it up. Let's see. Yeah, find it, Shannon. Find out what I can't find. You go slower than I am. Shannon speaks Spanish. I think I'm on uh, number five, but we got to find out about four this of club. the haunted Cuban club. I think Taps investigated there once. Yeah, um, <laughs> um I can't even pronounce this word. Y B O R City. <laughs> I was telling you, it was kind of weird writing here, but, um, I mean, it looks haunted, but, but like I said, looks can be deceiving. Um, I don't know. Gabor? Is that how you say it? <laughs> yeah, it's got a Y-B-O-R, yeah. Tampa's I speak, Boar I speak City. Engl- I speak English and bad English, and my English sucks, so. <laughs> so the sad Tampa, part, it doesn't right? even tell you what state, I can't even see what state it's in, it's not, it's not even saying. We're saying Tampa's Yabor City. So, um, all right. So it's in Florida. Florida. It, it looks in this picture that I'm looking at. I don't even think the building's still standing. <laughs> really? I remember Tap Taps uh, re, uh, ho- uh, ghost hunting there once on an episode. I remember that Cuban club. But anyway, heck with this place. We'll move on to what <laughs> number five. Heck with a Cuban club. Uh, see you later, Cuban club. Um, Fort Mifflin. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. I've heard of it. It was built in 1771. Um, it's a it's an old Revolutionary War fort, you guys. Um, what was the name of it again? Fort, fort Mifflin. Mifflin in Delaware. Yeah, Delaware. Yes, you're right, Shannon. Thank you. Um, I, I guess it's an old Revolutionary fort um, from you know the the um, Continental Army. Um, Bill. Well, it says on the Delaware. It's actually in uh, Philadelphia. Okay, so you wow. must be, what are you doing? Are you Googling these as I'm bringing them up, Shannon? Well, yeah, because some no, of them I have never heard of. Shannon knows everything. Hasn't she told you that yet, Donald? Okay, well, I'm going to number four. Let's see if she knows about this place. <laughs> it's called the Moon River Brewery. It's a, a an old brewery, and um, are we are we still on the list of haunted places? Because yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, I'm on number four. Um, That's in Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, you're right. Um, I don't know what's there. A bu- bunch of drunk ghosts. I don't know, Bill. Can, wait, can ghosts get drunk? I don't know, but why would they be hanging around in an old brewery for? Would to you, watch well, if they watch, were an alcoholic. Watch us get drunk. <laughs> well, that could be. That could be. Do, do stupid things. <laughs> Maybe it could mean people died of um, overdose from drinking too much. There, I don't know, Bill. Um. But what are we, down to number three now? Um, it's, it's, the next place is called the Sultan's Palace. Um, and it says it's a classic place. It's in a French Quarter, so I'm thinking New Orleans. And Louisiana. The Sultan's Palace, you guys. And yeah, there's, never a, heard of it. there's a bunch of writing them on it. I, I don't want to get on here. I may, I may mispronounce a word or something. I don't want to sound stupid on your show. Well, we we also we also don't want you, you know, mispronounce something and then get, get any of these voodoo 
people after you. Uh oh. Bill's breaking up a little bit. Yeah, he was. Bill, you're breaking up a little bit, buddy. My, but this is live here? radio. Hello, hello, am I back? Yeah. You're back. You're back, Bill. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I only got two left here. Oh, my God. I already know I can pronounce this one. Shannon, you're going to have to help me on this one. Um, yeah, because I'm at your desk looking at it, Donald. What? No, you're not here. You're at your house. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to... Sp- you guys, I can't even pronounce this first word. This is horrible. It's some. It's a courthouse, okay? It's... um. I'll try to pronounce it. Um, Cal Caskew Courthouse. Um, Spell it for us. It is spelled C A L C A S I E U. Cal Caskew Courthouse. Um, I don't know, but it's just a big Cal-Cast- picture of a big Cal-Cast- courthouse. Cal-Cast- Cal-Cast- There's, no court- There's no T. There's no T. There's no T. It's C A L C A S. I E U. Cal Cashew Courthouse. Cal, Cal, um, I would, that's what I would think it was, Cal Cashew. A small town of Lake Charles uh, oh, since the 1940s. So um, uh, she, when she killed a man in cold blood, I guess somebody got killed there. I don't know why. This this must be going to number 10 instead of. We might have started at the best one first, but um, I got one more left, you guys. Um, I thought I had one more. It's not even showing me. <laughs> and that's the list. That that's it. Um, that that's wasn't it? Ten, that wasn't ten though, was it? I don't know. Well, I wasn't counting one. them as you were saying them, but I can tell you right now that top ten list. There was only like two or three we knew. <laughs> I know. I well, had never heard of the other ones. Don't blame me. Blame the Travel Channel. That was their list. Um, just uh, I don't know. Um, but we. I do want to mention something else. I want to ask you, you and Bill, something. Uh, and it's something, Shannon, that me and you have talked about before. That's um, that old voodoo lady down in New Orleans called Maria Laveau. Um, tell us a little bit about Maria Laveau. I don't know a whole lot about her other than the fact that she's passed away and she was real big into voodoo. Now, um, but you were saying something that people still pay homage there and get her to put cast spells on people. Yes. Yep, to this day, people still do that. Now, Bill, what do you think about this voodoo stuff? Well, um, I've never actually, I know of, I've never actually dwelled in it or did anything with it. I'm hoping I didn't at least. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm just, you know, hey, I, I don't want to, I, I don't know because I, it was a wonderful for woman. To, I want to be able to sleep tonight. I wouldn't want to play around with voodoo. What she was, that was movie beautiful. called? Beautiful. The Skeleton Key. You guys remember that movie? Something like that? Where that I know that. I've one. never seen it, though. What, do you remember the movie, Bill? Yeah, God, that was an old one. Well, that woman goes there. I think she was a nurse aide that went there to spend the, the you know, to take care of the old woman's husband. And it was all about voodoo. I mean, it was pretty scary, you guys. I, um, that's something yeah. I wouldn't want to tamper with. No, voodoo's one of those. Voodoo's one of those things that that everybody always says. Oh, it's hokey pokey. It's it, it's fate. You know, there's nothing to it. And then something happens, and the first thing they do is go, "I was cursed." Well, you just said ten minutes ago that it was fake. What the heck? <laughs> Come on. I I don't need any more curses in my life. I don't need that. So I'll stay away from voodoo. So no. Shannon, what about? I have a whole list up in front of me now. Okay. I do too. Of other, of, <laughs> I do of, too. of other of other places. <laughs> So okay. it's my turn. It's my turn now. So, Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia. All right. Built uh, built in eight twenty nine. Prisoners lived alone, exercised alone, and ate alone. They were all by themselves all the time. That would drive a damn so, man nuts. Just just out of curiosity, is your next location Hotel Monte Vista? Who? You. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> we're looking at the same site. Are you really? Yeah, I've got oh, it man. pulled up too. What site did you actually pull up so I can go along with you guys on this? It says 23 most haunted places. Okay. So just keep reading, Bill. I'm yeah, go ahead. Oh. So that's it. That, let's see. Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia. Have you been there, Shannon? Eastern State, no. Okay. Let's see. What else we got here? Um, Hotel Monte Vista. In Flagstaff, Arizona, 
According to this, John Wayne had a paranormal encounter there. He didn't. It doesn't say what he did. Really? Two women were th th two women were thrown from the third floor and now attempt to asphyxiate males in their sleep. Ooh, let's go! All what right, the hell no, is that? that one. A long-term border border who had a habit of hanging raw meat from the chandelier in room two hundred and ten. I don't want to go. Well. <laughs> Not me. I don't think I'm from Arizona. Anything with that Pine, raw meat or something like that? No, count me out. Pine Barrens in New Jersey. The heavily, fo he heavily forest Pine <laughs> Barrens. I've heard of Spans bill. over one mile acre, over a mile acres and seven counties in New Jersey. I've heard of those. They, I can't read. I have heard of those. So those pines, though. Um, the area thrived during the colonial period. But it's Coast bigger, than, it's bigger than one mile. It goes on for hundreds of miles. I thought that pine forest did. It said the oh, most popular oh, pine barrens resident is, without a doubt, the Jersey Devil. According to legend, too. the creature was born in 1735 to. Deborah Leeds, her 13th child. Her 13th child. <laughs> Jesus, with leathery wings, a goat's head, and hooves. It flew up It flew up the Leeds chimney and into the barrens, where it reportedly has been killing livestock and creeping out Jersey residents ever since. If you have a Hence child. Hence the hockey team's name, the Jersey, New Jersey Devils. <laughs> if you have a child come out your crotch, and it's got leather wings, a goat's head, and hooves. <laughs> You still need to stay your ass out of the barn. That's all I'm saying because you you way you've gone to way different shows than what we need to be going to. Shannon, don't talk about the Jersey Devils, please. That reminds me of something. What? What? Something bad? Well, you know what we was talking about the other night on our show, and I said it sounds like a hockey team. Uh, what I was talking about, and you said that's one of my favorite teams, so we won't. But that's go there. not the Jersey Devils. What was that? Other, what was the team you said? The Red Detroit Wings. Red Wings. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, Bill knows, now Bill knows what we were talking about. So. What's wrong with Little Red Wings? Nothing. He he said it sounds like a <laughs> hockey team. I said it is a hockey team. <laughs> it was a subject some guys were talking about, Bill. And to some me, guys. I told Shannon, I, I to me, I didn't know what it really was. I said it sounded like a hockey team, and Shannon said, "Oh, it's one of my favorite teams." <laughs> Detroit. So you know what they were talking about now, right, Bill? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, we won't go there on this show. Not on this show. Uh, oh no, we won't. All right, Myrtle's Plantation in Louisiana. Heard of it? Yes. Ooh. Mine skipped over that one. I don't have that one. Oh no, I skipped over the next one. I thought I was waiting for you on that one. The the I can't say that San Fernando San Catholic Fernando Cathedral. Cathedral. <laughs> Ca Antonio, Catholic, see, you can't even say it. The oldest <laughs> church in Texas holds El Mariachi Mass on Oh, Sunday. that's what you couldn't pronounce. I got you. And it is a stunning example of Gothic... What? Revival know. architecture. Sounds like what I was but reading earlier on demonology. But, <laughs> but come nightfall, you'll have to be something of a daredevil to enter the myth-ridden grounds. When construction workers started <laughs> renovating the church in 1936, they unearthed bodies, nails, and tattered military uniforms near the altar, which some believed belonged to three soldiers of the Alamo. Since the disturbing incident, visitors have reported shadowy figures and orbs in their photographs, as well as ghosts in the back of the church itself. Such oh otherworldly <laughs> in heaven. You sound like the a crypt man keeper. Dressed in black and figures in hooded monk like clothing. <laughs> oh, let's go. That was pretty Bill. fucking good, Bill. <laughs> you sounded awesome. That was scary, Bill, the way you was talking. <laughs> I feel like you needed to be on freaking Unsolved Mysteries or something. <laughs> <laughs> or or one of those guys on the the movie called The House of a Thousand Corpses, you know, when they were telling you about these haunted uh, Doctor Doom or whatever. I mean, that sounded scary, Bill. Do you dare try to enter when two men walk through? <laughs> He's playing the music. It's a church. In <laughs> oh my god! That sounds awesome, man. 
So next one, Myrtle's Plantation. Hey, yeah, I was going to... Saint what? Francisville, Louisiana. I thought we already talked about Myrtle's Plantation. No, we, we kind of we? We skipped that. I don't remember, heck. Is that the I one like that the Ghost Plantation. Brothers went to? Um, That's, well, is that the plantation they went to? Yep, to check it out and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, we we our group our group has been there. Part of it. Bill, is that so the place they got like all them old um I don't know what the the name of them trees are, uh, magnolia trees going up to the place? Um all I know is that it's it's during the daytime it's a beautiful old uh, plantation with all the old outbuildings on it, the slaves quarters and everything else. But nighttime hits and it gets a little freaking weird. Yeah, they've you got can, the slave shacks, right? You know what yep, I'm talking about. Excuse me, yep, yes. yep. I've seen it on TV, never been there. And then here's the one Shannon and I both want to go to. I know. R RMS Queen Mary in Long Beach, California. What's that? It's Aside a, from... Old ship. Uh, yeah, it's a, it was an old... Uh, warship. Had a, brie a brief stint as a warship in World War II. The, R the Queen Mary served as a luxury ocean liner from 1936 to 1967. During his time, it was the site of at least one murder. A sailor crushed <laughs> to death by the door <laughs> in the engine room. And children drowning in the pool. The city of Long Beach purchased the ship in 1967 and turned it into a hotel. And it still serves that purpose today. Although reported ghosts of deceased passengers get to stay for free. For an extra dose of spine tingly exercise, see if you can visit the ship's engine room, which is considered by many to be a hotbed paranormal <laughs> activity. Wow! And they just actually opened that up back up. No, Bill, yes, it isn't they what just you were saying. That's how you can investigate. It. <laughs> well, no, honestly, they just opened some of the ship back up. They had it closed down for a little while, from what I understand. And now they've they've opened the engine room back up so people can go down there. It's, it's and there's I, I want to go there really really bad. But from what I understand, it's a tad bit expensive to go there. and It's like $400 a night to stay in some of the rooms. Yeah. I better be getting paid for something else. To, we'll get something else for $400 a night. But I think when Beth and them went on the Nick Groff tour, I think, I, I don't think that, I think the tickets were about 200 bucks for that, that tour, but they, they stayed at a hotel. They didn't stay on the ship. Yeah. I told them I'd sleep on the deck. Just put me out on the deck. And I'll sleep out there. Listen what to was the that water. cost? Like 20, 25 bucks. Let the seagulls poop on me. I don't care. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Bill, you sound like Vincent Price when you was reading. Oh, I'm just that waiting far. for the I laugh. Love Vincent Price. <laughs> I, I love Vincent Price. <laughs> yes, but the way you was reading that, man, that was awesome, dude. I don't even know how to say this next one. I, know, I was about to say, I'm going to let you have that one. M-I-Z-P-A-H. Mizpah. 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 That one there. Who died? That Anybody one. die in there? Okay, let's get that one. Uh, here's know my, one of my one. favorite ones. <laughs> Gettysburg Battlefield in Pennsylvania. I love that place. I think I know exactly which canon that is, too. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, where, Gettysburg was awesome. You guys played so, a recording one night about cannons. Who, where was that at? That was in. Gettysburg. That was actually in Gettysburg. Um, hold on. The night that we had Ashley Brennan on too. Uh, a lot of her EVPs were from Gettysburg. In the back side view, from where the cannons were, loading up and firing. I love that one. <laughs> you can yeah. hear him playing his day say fire, Bill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire. I love that a lot. Bill, that's weird, man. That that blows me away. So this next one is one that uh, Kelly and I are going to be close to. I don't know if we'll get to go I was going to say, that one looks uh, awesome. Pit Talk Mansion in Portland, Oregon. Um, Oregonians, Pioneer. Oregonians. Well, that's what it says. <laughs> But That's exactly what it or says. <laughs> Oregonian pioneer Henry and Georgina Pitlock decided to build 
their dream house when they reached their golden years in 1909, spurring the innovative design and construction the con- and construction of <laughs> Pitak Mansion. Unfortunately, the couple only got to enjoy their home for a few years before passing away. Georgina in 1918 and Henry in 1919. The building is now a public landmark with some of the strangest occurrences that have been reported, such as the smell of roses. They have a big ass garden. Uh, uh, the house filling, is huge. The smell of roses filling a room with no flowers in it, and children and a childhood painting of Henry moving on its own from spot to spot within the house. Clearly, death was not enough of a reason for the Pittocks to vacate their beloved home. It's a beautiful looking house. It's yeah. It's I'd live there. Yeah, it's a nice house. Man, it's just hard to believe there's so many of these places that are haunted, you guys. But one mm-hmm. comes to my mind, you guys. So can I can I say it real quick? Go one place. It. I, I don't think anybody will will ever gain access to hunt this place to haunt you know to hunt it. But um, that's that. um, uh, shoot, um, Graceland where Elvis died. I would love to go in there and hunt that place. I guarantee you. I got an eerie feeling in the daytime there where Elvis died at his home, Graceland. But um, I guarantee you'll never get access to that place. You might be surprised. You yep. might be surprised if an if a, it, it's kind of like everything. And I hate to say that, but everybody, everybody's chasing chasing one thing in life, and that's that's to make a buck. And if they start realizing that people, you know, people like uh, the paranormal lockdown and paranormal activity and all these television shows can bring back. Um, the uh, the people that used to used to go there because from what I understand the down there the tourist isn't as high as it used to be tourism and people you're, aren't, aren't, you're right, not coming Bill. anymore. They may so bring it, in some kind of paranormal stuff because um I know they wouldn't let us upstairs when we went through there. It was always closed off. I mean, well, wouldn't that think of think of the money they could Priscilla or not Priscilla but Lisa Marie could make off of Graceland as a p- paranormal. Certain yeah. place. Think about that, man. Wow. Well, even just, even you know, not just even the the paranormal paranormal piece of it. Open that house back up. Let some people in some areas that they don't want them to go to. Why in, can't in you there, go but, upstairs? Why can't you go upstairs? Why? Oh, oh, I don't no. know. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't write the rules. I mean, it makes me it made yeah. me so mad though. But um, when you go in the front door of Graceland, I mean, they didn't even tell us this. The guy didn't. But when you walk in the very front door of that house, if you look straight up, that's the bathroom right above that front door, right where he died. But they didn't tell us that during the tour. I had to read about it once I left Graceland. And um, there's just a lot of things they leave out, you know, while they're taking you through this place. Well, they don't want people to, a lot of times, places will leave out stuff only because they don't want people to, you know, get locked in and focused only on that they want to you know if you leave out certain things you're stopping people from going along and saying you know i I just want to be here i want to see this all the time that way you're keeping them keeping them moving like in a tour is kind of the biggest thing so that's probably why they didn't tell you that probably in and out wanted to get you in and out well depending on who you talk to elvis is not dead well there's two problems but you get a strange the, feeling the, in Graceland. I get a strange feeling in the middle of the day, you guys. Really? Weird. It's a weird place. Yeah, I mean, it's like a time capsule from 1977. Nothing's been touched. It's the same way it was, I think, since I was died. I mean, they might have changed around some furniture or something, put some furniture back in. But it's um, it's like an old time capsule. I know 77 is not that old. But um, you would think Elvis would have been living in a more lavish place. But it really wasn't that nice. You know what I mean? Well, in 77, it was probably pretty damn nice. Yeah, but today's standards, Bill, some of these new homes I've seen, Elvis's place oh. looks like a dump compared to some of these places. <laughs> Even around where we live, some of these new homes they're building. I mean, Graceland was not, I mean, in, in the area that it's in, it's just a, it's a bad area, Bill and Shannon. But he's buried right one. outside. He's buried right next to, to, to Graceland. You know that. And uh, yeah, yep. it's a it's a weird place. And I wish people like you guys could go there and hunt. That would be awesome to to hear Elvis singing in the background in the quiet. I mean, think about it. Oh yeah, that'd be cool as shit. Very cool. 
I mean, it would be a great place, I think, Bill, for, for people to um, investigate. Yep. So here's one. This is one my wife really wants to go to, and we've talked about it. If we're going to make a trip, we're probably going to go out and do this one. It's the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. The Winchester Mystery House might be one of the most disturbing <laughs> construction <laughs> projects in history. Following the death of her husband and child, Sarah Winchester, wife of the rifles, rifle maker's son, was informed by a, a seer that her family was killed by the ghost of those who died from their family's guns. To keep away the vengeful spirits, she commissioned the Victorian Fun House turned... What the hell is that? <laughs> Bill, do you do well, some I, tours? I, I no, no. You should, you should. Well, well, it's hard to do because I have to get so quiet to do it. It's not that it's it's, it's What did he say you should so. do? Talk, Talk like this like during this. a tour. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Winchester house. And yes, Bill, I've watched um, hunts in that Winchester house. I mean, there's, there's rooms to nowhere. There's stairways to nowhere. Uh, it's weird. There's stairways that if you, if you run up, you'll knock yourself out because you go right into the ceiling. There's doorways you open up. If you take a step out that door, you're going to fall four, four flights to your death, pretty much. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a freaky place. And they said that if you don't, Know where you're going in there, and so even some of the people that work there get lost, and and they'll, they'll they say if you get lost, stay still and start tapping something because someone who knows that area and that part of the the buildings will come find you and be able to lead you out. Now his wife is it's, the one that was kept building on, right, Bill? The wife of the, yeah, she, the she just kept she just kept building and building and building. Sounds like um, some again. shit out of the labyrinth. It's weird. Yeah. It is, Bill. It's a weird thing. Well, how, how would you feel if your family is all dead and you get a seer that comes in or somebody who's a medium or something says, the only reason your whole entire family was murdered and killed and died for reasons unknown was they were being haunted by the ghosts of all the people that the, the guns your family built have killed. They and, freak you out. Well, yeah, in those days, Winchester was like That would make you like not want to be gun. part of the family. Yeah, I'd be like, uh, hey, my my name's. I'm changing Smith. my last name. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my last name. That's not my yeah. name. My name. My name is Jose. Uh, <laughs> That's a scary one, Bill. I think that one so far to me that would have been the most scary place right there, the Winchester House. Yep. Will you guys be careful if you go? <laughs> I don't need You're to go on four flights to. Uh, nope. Where's that at, Bill? Where's that located? California, it's San Jose, California. California. Wow. Wow. The long haul. What was your next one, Bill? Ch ka what? Kawaba? C A H A W B A, Alabama. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't even say it. I like the, somewhere in Mexico. It, it was Alabama's first capital and famous ghost town, takes its name from the state's longest river. Okay, it was abandoned after the Civil War. And it is an empty building, slave burial ground, and eerie cemeteries are now popular sightings for ghost tours, stories of paranormal activities. The most famous tale is the luminous floating orb that appears in the former garden maze of Colonel C.C. Perru's house. <laughs> Shortly after the colonel had been killed in battle, the phenomenon became known as Perru's ghost and it still <laughs> attracts curious visitors to this day i can't say that he was french i guarantee it all right what's that <laughs> what was your first clue <laughs> his name oh was johnny <laughs> oh my god uh it, it, the only reason i knew his french is because his first name was cc uh <laughs> was that all of them on that list i know you had to skip over trans allegheny that was on there too and i skipped over sally borden house because we all know about that one uh, the one in San Diego, Crescent Hotel in Eureka, Can Eureka Springs, Kansas. Um, that's a bridge. That's a really tall building. What is that? The Masonic Temple in Detroit. Huh. Never heard of it. Looks br looks new. Um, Amsterdam Theater in New York. Stanley Hotel. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I've heard of that one. I've heard of that one. Essex, Essex, Colorado. That I would love to go to. Now that, is that oh. the one where they filmed The Shining? 
Mm, yes. Stanley or, yeah, Stanley and then and then Tyler owns the Shanley Hotel, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Wait a minute, Shannon. I thought that hotel was like way out and it took like hours and hours and hours to get to in the movie. Well, it takes hours and hours to get there, not in the movie. I mean, in the movie. A a global reputation for being creepy is one of the only made Stanley House Hotel more (laughs) popular. Located in Essex Park, about 90 minutes north of Denver. See, you were right. It's (laughs) out there. The hotel's stately Georgian architecture and vintage charm have lured travelers to its luxurious settings since since 1909. But... The hotel is most remembered <laughs> for its star turning turn in movie version of Stephen King's The Shining. You missed one thing, Bill. Um, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> red rum. Red rum. Yeah, red rum, red rum, red rum. <laughs> yeah, that one that was I'd love to go there. I actually think it would be cool just to see what would happen if just me and my wife went there and stayed, got the whole thing, and set up the little typewriter in the middle of the room, and stayed up there all winter long. Now, didn't no, they? Didn't they shut it down for paranormal investigators? Uh, the connection reason for par- I, I think so. It looks like, or take no, they do night ghost tours. Yeah, but I think they shut it down for like private investigations. Like you can still do tours and stuff through it, but. You can stay. Excuse me. You can you can actually rent a room and stay there, um, or do the night ghost tours, or perhaps trying a psychic consultation from the hotel's own Madame Vera. Ooh. I had a question well. for you guys on that in that hotel where they where they filmed The Shining. Did they really have that maze out front? Where, you know, that they got lost in. Is that real? That one I don't. That one I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know that if that either. was a movie movie prop or not. Well, you remember that's what? where Jack Nicholson froze, right? Out there in that maze. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with his eyes eyes curled up, he did. And they, oh, that freaky. That was cool as shit. That was a great movie, uh, you guys. Great movie. Mm-hmm. Thing with okay, Jack Shannon, Nicholson my, it is a good movie. My list is done. Oh, it's done? Yep. Well, right. you, you can practically list, find top ten anything list on Google. So, <laughs> the one that I looked up was top ten celebrities who know incredible secrets of the paranormal. Let's hear it. And it says, so whether or not you believe in ghosts, these ten very famous people most certainly do. Now, I'm, <laughs> now I'm going to start from ten and then work my way down to one. So, okay, the first go for one it. is Number Warren 10. Lapkus. Who the hell is that? She, she plays on uh, Orange is the New Black. What's her name? Krakus? Lauren Lapkus. Lapkus, okay. Don't know. I've never seen Orange is the New Black. Well, I watched the first episode and then stopped watching. I know there's a lot of people that watch it, but I couldn't follow it. Um, Alright, number nine is <laughs> Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. I like him. There's what a lot of them on here, you'll know. What did he, what did he say he had? Um, said, let's see. Stayed at somebody's house. While staying in the home of director Francis Ford Coppola, Cage Coppola. reports that, yeah, that, that. Um, Cage reports that he was approached by a ghost with big hair. Wow. The identity of the spirit is unknown as... Coppola? Is that what you said? Coppola. Coppola. Yeah, whatever. (laughs) I'll get it right eventually. (laughs) Himself was not notably... Yeah, I can't read anymore, I guess. Can I I say something real quick before you move on to the next one? Uh Uh-huh. Nicolas Cage was also married to uh, uh, Marie, uh, Elvis' daughter. He was one of the few people who went upstairs, Bill, at Graceland. Nicolas Cage. Oh, really? Yeah, he he was married to Lisa Marie. That's her name, Lisa Marie. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Shannon. Go ahead with oh, your no, list. Oh no, no, you're sorry. fine. Number eight. Uh, Megan Fox. From Fox, uh, for what is she a newswoman or what is she? <laughs> what? I've never heard of her. What does she play in? <laughs> Being serious with me right now? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know all these people's names. Transformers, <laughs> Megan Fox. Was she Ninja the, Turtles. the boy's girlfriend that drove the car, the yellow car? In the very first one. Okay, yeah, she's a good-looking woman, yes. Well, she was in the first and second <laughs> one. Yeah, but that's not what we're talking about. She's had a paranormal experience, Donald. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Bill, for laughing at me. I don't know. <laughs> it, it doesn't really... Oh, well, it says, most recently, Fox had a full-blown ghost encounter while on vacation in Mexico. One night, she ordered a room service breakfast for 7.30 a.m. the next day. In the morning at 7 a.m. sharp, she heard the door open and the clatter of plates. It was Juan Valdez, I guarantee it. <laughs> it was uh, it was El, El Chapo. El Chapo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're on now, five or We're six? on number seven. Okay. Number oh, seven. Well, God, yeah. better watch the time, Shannon. I am. Keanu okay. Reeves. Uh, like, yeah, uh, I like him, too. <laughs> <laughs> I like Keanu. <laughs> Um, his was a childhood memory. No, it's not. He drunk. It, dr- he was. He was stoned. <laughs> <laughs> he was st- well. Regardless, he could have been stoned at nine years old and had a, a tall ghost. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the next one is probably no surprise to seeing weird shit. Lady Gaga. She looked in the mirror. <laughs> Look in the mirror. That's a good one, Bill. Um, number five is Matthew McConaughey. I like him. All right, all right, all right. right. The Lincoln what? Lawyer. <laughs> what? Hey, 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 watch the leather, man. <laughs> what, he played in the Chainsaw, one of those Chainsaw Massacre Texas movies, Chainsaw too. 2. He played in the second one of the original series. And he had he the robotic He was the crazy leg? tow truck driver. Yes. What, was, was weird. He? Yeah, he was the tow truck driver in the original Texas Chainsaw, but it was the second one. Right, right. He was the crazy tow truck driver. Um, next one is Kesha. Never heard of that one. The star is on record stating he has had sex with a ghost. <laughs> wow. Good <sighs> fucking God. Please, Billy Bob, not be listening. We only got five minutes. Hi, y'all say, here, well, here, 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 here's what, here's what I have a problem with that now. Oh, uh, see, when you're having sex with a ghost, okay, so now here, here's what happens. You lay down, and a ghost can walk through a wall, you know, and, uh, and, and if, 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 if a ghost can walk through a wall, why, uh, why, why wouldn't he just fall right through your ass? That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, number three is Patrick Stewart. Star Trek. Yes. What was his experience? Um, he he said, that guy's been around for a while. So Spock. I mean. Spock visiting. Yeah, he said the venue was the Theater Royale Haymarket, well, well known to be haunted. Coming off really? stage from his role, Stewart told a co-star, Ian McKellen, that he had just seen a man just off stage. He was dressed in an older style and was so off-putting that the veteran actor... Flubbed his lines. He's just a Captain Kirk wannabe. Yeah. Uh, the belief was that Stewart had encountered John Baldwin Buckstone, who managed the venue in the mid 1800s. Buckstone. <laughs> <laughs> you said stone. Stone. <laughs> you said Buckstone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's next? Number two is Allison Hannigan. Never heard of him. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, I thought it was a guy. No. <laughs> Allison? I'm pretty sure I said Allison. Oh, I thought you said Alex. My bad. <laughs> what What kind of experience does she have? <laughs> it just says, Hannigan believed the ghost, uh, what is it? Hannigan spoke of the living in a haunted house. She was not at all phased by the idea. Hannigan believed the ghost was quite gentlemanly. He never caused her any harm or distress. This was an on screen, on screen and off screen. She's on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I guess. And that's number two. Yeah. Um, I and guess. Now. Number yeah, I one. So, and, well, no, I just so she saw it on screen and off screen. Yeah, that's what it says. He wow. said he merely appeared sometimes, floating around the house or making odd noises. And again, actually considered leaving out a chalkboard for the apparition to write his name. Eventually, she moved on, and the ghost stayed behind. The story is actually rather notable for its lack of drama. 
Wow. He lived with a ghost, no big deal, kind of like Matthew McConaughey is what it says. <laughs> hmm. Hey, and before then, you get to number one, Shannon, uh, you guys know that Margot Kidder died, right? She played yes, Lois Lane. Uh, Lois, with yeah. Mr. Reeve. Yeah. So, yep. I hope she's up there with Christopher right now having fun flying around. Aw. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's so sweet, sweet. Donald. In a wheelchair? Yeah, no, he's he ain't in a no. wheelchair no more. He's, Hi, spir- Jimmy. How are he's you? spiritual now. He's got magic legs now. Hey, hey, he got magic legs. <laughs> Who's number one? Shannon, we're going to run and out of time. The number I... one. Most, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Shannon? Corey Taylor. Never heard of, of her. That he was stoned too much to know anything. Now well, this is a guy, okay? Now yes, this is a no- guy, and okay. it said uh, he is a, a lead singer of the Grammy. Went, he's the lead singer of Slipknot. Uh, of hello, him. yeah. You never heard of Corey Taylor? No, no, I know who he is, but Donald doesn't know who he is. No. Wow. And is also an accomplished ghost hunter. He has had right. many experiences with the paranormal and has gone out seeking it with his friends on multiple occasions. We should invite him. We should invite him. Show. He could pay for everything. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, we got Sorry. one minute left. I just got poked, so we got one minute left. Oh, <sighs> I think Bill's good voice. Bill was doing a good voice. Bill, you should end, Bill, you should end the show with that hey, scary voice. Real quick before you do, though, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Henry, and I hope he's doing well. And to Billy Bob. And to Billy Bob, who's probably passed out in his truck right now. To Billy Bob and Henry, we want to make sure you're doing everything just right. To all of our listeners, thank you for listening in. We'll be tune in next week when we have no idea yet, but we'll get something on here. <laughs> now, thank you everybody for being here. Thanks, Jimmy, for running it for us. Thanks, Don, for being here. Uh, it's awesome as always. Goodbye. Perfect as always. Yes, you too, buddy. Thank you guys for being listening. You guys in the warehouse, don't wreck. I hope it didn't cause anybody to have an issue. So thank you guys very much, and have fun. Thank God.